my gosh, I've tested positive to Corona. What can I do? What are three steps that you can do to boost your immune system so that you can strengthen your own body and fight off viruses, any viruses, okay? So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Belinda. And I had a client message me this morning about how they can boost their immune system because they've actually tested positive to uh, COVID-19. So that's what our video is going to be about today. Now, normally, my area of expertise is strengthening the immune system. However, I usually work with clients who are uh, have sleeping issues or energy issues or um, anxiety issues or thyroid issues or even autoimmune problems as well. Okay, so this is something that I spend a lot of time in, but, you know, these are just some things that you may not know about yourself and you may not always hear these everywhere okay so <clears throat> these are purely suggestions from my knowledge this is not to cure treat or diagnose anything at all this is just to help people boost their own immune system and strengthen their own bodies so that you can fight off any bacteria, virus, anything like this at all, okay? So, the first thing that I would do personally is I would increase my magnesium intake, okay? Using a recommended magnesium. Some magnesiums are not so good, but if you want to find out which ones are good, you can scroll down to one of my videos that I did on magnesium and take a look there. And now, why is this? Magnesium is like a battery and when we are stressed okay so when we're sick or we have issues going on in the body we actually need more of it okay it's kind of like a battery when your battery's running low you need more power okay and that's literally what magnesium is like you need to increase magnesium okay to strengthen the immune system now there are over 3,000 I think it's 3,751 uh, functions in the body that is used for with magnesium. So magnesium is really, really important for supporting those functions and increasing communication around the body so that you can fight off bacteria, viruses, and things like that. You want to be in the strongest possible position that you can be in. So that's tip number one is to increase your magnesium. Okay, number two is going to be very similar, and that is going to be increasing whole food vitamin C. Now, we all know that when we get a cold or a flu, that, you know, you hear, oh, take vitamin C, take vitamin C, take vitamin C. And that's really, really important when you are taking the correct one. Okay, so once again, whole food vitamin C can help increase how much uh, your immune system is supported. And it's kind of like a battery as well, okay? When the battery's running low, you need more to charge that battery. And that is the same with whole food vitamin C. So whole food, meaning when you pick up a vitamin C supplement, make sure it actually says whole food. Uh, one that we see regularly, from pharmacies, drug stores, health food stores, even in the supermarket, is one that contains or um, or is pretty much 100% ascorbic acid. Now, ascorbic acid is thrown around as vitamin C, and it is, but it's not in its whole food complex, okay? And vitamin C is a complex, so, you know, it's kind of like a car. You need the wheels, you need the steering wheel, you need the engine, you need all the little bits and pieces to get to A to B, whereas ascorbic acid is just kind of like the shell of the car, and it won't get you from A to B. So it doesn't contain all of the nutrients that you need to support a good immune system. So a whole food vitamin C. And you can simply get that if you want a cheaper version, sauerkraut from the um, refrigerated section. Okay, not the one in the jar. You want the one that has been actually fermented and has all of the uh, good nutrients in it. So that's that's probably your cheapest version. If you really want to be cheap, you can make it yourself. You've got to wait a week or two for it to ferment, but whole food vitamin C. And you can get that in really good supplements, uh, but you want it to say 
whole food. And it's going to be things like berries and fruits and things because you want those good antioxidants. Okay, number three. Now, this one is a big one that people are going to go, Ugh, really, you want me to eat that? And yes, I do. Okay, and that is beef liver. Now, if you do not like beef liver fried up like myself, because when I was told this, I wanted to puke. I literally went, oh, yuck. There's no way you're going to get me to eat that. But this is the new superfood. It literally is. Beef liver contains so many phytonutrients, so many minerals, so many things that the body needs. And to support a good immune system, I highly recommend it. Okay, And if you do not like beef liver like myself, then make it into a fancy pate. Okay, you know, make it into garlic and uh, what else do you put in it? Rosemary and coconut oil and a few other things. And it can actually taste amazing. I was actually really surprised when I made this for the first time and went, ooh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat this. This is gross. But when I started to eat, I was like, oh my gosh, this actually tastes really good. And the, it contains retinol. It contains zinc. It contains um, B vitamins that are really, really important. And if you want to boost your immune system quickly, this is one of the ways you can do it. However... If you have intolerances and reactions or histamine problems, take it easy because sometimes you can have a reaction, okay? It, it's, it's so, so nutrient dense that the body goes, holy shit, what are you trying to give me here? Like, you know, when we're so deprived of these minerals and nutrients, the body can go, oh, oh my God, what are you trying to do? Like, freak me out? Like, that's literally how powerful of a superfood that is. Okay, now I'm going to give you a bit of a bonus here as well, and that is reducing fear and worry. If you have a um, come in contact with a virus or a flu that, you know, people are all freaking out about, fear and worry can actually shut down your immune system. So one step that you can actually do is breathe about it. You can't change this. You can't change that you've come into contact with this. You cannot change it. So why stress and worry about it? Okay, because this actually shuts down your immune system. There's no point stressing or worrying about it. So find a way to uh, bring yourself back down to earth. Maybe do some meditation. Maybe uh, go do a Pilates session or maybe whatever it is that brings you down. Read a book. Go for a walk. Whatever brings your stress levels back down. It doesn't really matter, but bring your stress levels back down. Realize that you are not completely in control of this. All you can do is support your body the best way you can and recover that way. Like there's no point overthinking it. There's really not. So reducing stress and worry because stress and worry will actually shut down your immune system and that ain't what you want right now. Okay, so that's some things. Now, if you're watching live, then let us know that you're watching live. I've got five lovely friends watching live and I'm going to read some comments because I think Debs has put a comment here. And if you are catching this on the replay, then let us know replay as well. Uh, what are we, Veal's liver is much nicer. Yep, I'm sure it is. With onions, eschalots, black pepper, very delicious. Ooh, have you got a recipe? I'm always up for trying new ones. Anyway, uh, have a good day and I will see you at this time tomorrow. Now, if you do know someone who has uh, come into contact with certain viruses, even COVID, and they want to strengthen their immune system, then consider sharing this with them so that we can help more people. Anyway, you have a good day and I will talk to you at this time tomorrow. Bye.